Joe Giulio for NJ Sports Now on this Thursday, May the 28th, as the New York Giants started OTAs yesterday. We got our first look and our first glance at what is, for right now, the first team offensive line without left tackle Will Beatty, who's out for now basically until at least October or November with a pectoral injury. As the Giants took the field yesterday, the headline for most people was that rookie Eric Flowers, number nine overall pick in the past draft year, first round pick out of Miami, was lined up for Beatty at left tackle. But for me, the big takeaway is who is next to him at left guard. That would be Justin Pugh, the kid that came out of Syracuse a few years ago, had a really nice rookie season at right tackle. There was some thought, maybe he's the left tackle of the future. Last year, back at right tackle again, struggled. Really was a big part of the reason early in the season, the Giants offensive line wasn't where it needed to be. And I thought really all year, there was something off about Justin Pugh's season. Then you come into this season, and there was talk that maybe he's a guard. Now we're hearing about how good of an offseason he had. But I look at Pugh here, and the way the Giants are able, in their minds at least, to move him around, and I think he's the key now to this new look offensive line. They need Justin Pugh to be good somewhere. They need Justin Pugh to become the kind of player he was in his rookie year, or even better, at a position to solidify something and his versatility across the line actually right now becomes a major part of how the Giants could put this thing together over the summer. Look, Flowers with that high of a pick and that kind of pedigree and that kind of athletic ability looks to be the Giants left tackle of probably the present and of course the long-term future. But if he struggles, Pew's an option at left tackle. If he has to go back to right tackle, we know he could play that. He has the past couple years, and the Giants are very willing to tell you that he played left guard in the Senior Bowl, even played left guard back in high school. So Justin Pugh has versatility across the offensive line. And when you're struggling and you have a man down, that kind of versatility can be gigantic for an offensive line coach, for an offensive coordinator, and for a head coach like Tom Coughlin of the Giants. Every week or every other week when they look and kind of reevaluate this offensive line, Throughout the summer, mini camp, training camp, into the preseason, the ability to look at Pew and say, A, is he playing well? B, can we move him somewhere else if someone's not playing well? Is going to be a major X factor as we go through the summer and get close to the season. If the Giants' offensive line is going to be good enough without Will Beatty until he comes back, and for the Giants and their fans, hopefully he does come back at some point during the season. But if they're going to be okay enough to block it up for Eli Manning and to provide nice blocking for a strong running game, they're going to need a couple guys to be anchors, to be rocks. And Justin Pugh, to me, is the guy you have to look to now. He's been there a few years. He's not a rookie anymore. He showed the ability to play well in his rookie year, took a step back last year. And now they're asking to play left guard and to help out a rookie right next to him in Eric Flowers. If Justin Pugh plays well, regardless of where that is, the Giants offensive line has a decent chance to get out of this unscathed. If he struggles the way he did last year, next to a rookie left tackle, Eli Manning and the running game are going to be in big trouble. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports. Now.